update my iPhone to iOS 16. I just like got stuck in that. <laughs> iPhone 11 AirPods. <gasps> what? Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. If you can hear someone snoring, it's my dog over there. <laughs> she's so cute i just got out of the shower i'm trying to change my hair care routine so that i use less heat which includes air drying my hair i can honestly notice such a big difference when i air dry my hair versus when i blow dried it and use like a bunch of styling tools i also just got around to trying out the ordinary like blood mask. I think it was super popular like a year ago and I've been really scared to trying out mine because I just like heard it's really strong and kind of like burns your skin but I found this really great TikTok of someone explaining how to use it. I finally tried it and I don't think you're even supposed to be able to see any results like this fast after only one use but my skin does feel like very very good but anyways in a few hours or like one hour i'm gonna go with my friend and get a new iphone all right so i'm just about to pick up my friend i actually just posted a video a little while ago when we went to the apple store to look for an iphone 11 and i posted that video just to kind of raise awareness of like the older iphone models because i feel like a lot of times people are just like i have to have the newest iphone or whatever like everything basically i actually found a lot of positive aspects about the iphone 11 she wanted to wait until the iphone 14 was out just to kind of either have a price drop for the iphone 11 or also kind of seeing if she still wanted to get it or upgrade she did decide to go for the iphone 11 which i think is awesome so we're gonna go shopping for it right now but since the iphone 14 came out they actually are not selling it on the apple store anymore or on the apple website so we found a reseller that we're gonna go to right now also since i did that blood mask i kind of didn't want to put any makeup or like products on my face lately i feel like i've not been going out without makeup at all so i feel like i really want to work on rather than just covering up everything with makeup instead just work on a really really good skincare routine and like very very minimal makeup iPhone, iPhone 11, 128 gigabytes yes. in black. We also got AirPods. I think they're a series two. Mm -hmm. USB C adapter, a screen protection. charge my phone like three times a day and that's the iphone 12 pro max but i think you use your phone oh um, yeah probably <laughs> yes this was her old phone okay so 
this is the iphone 12 pro max in silver and this is iphone 7 in silver like can you see the difference like this is an actual silver and this is like white also the apple logo looks kind of invisible on this one compared to iphone 7 evolution of iphone <laughs> <laughs> It's two days later and I feel like I haven't done a lot. I think this weekend I was just like, I was just relaxing a lot, having really no to-dos or any plans at all. I think when Monday came, I just like got stuck in that. <laughs> so today I really tried turning that around and get into some good habits. So I went to the gym. The first thing I did when I woke up, it was actually my boyfriend. He's working a night shift. So he got home home and woke me up and was like do you want to hit the gym and i i don't think he even comprehended that he was like asking me if i wanted to go to the gyms i just said yes and then all of a sudden like i was at the gym but it was actually really really refreshing i do like to work out like pretty early in the day but i usually do not work out right when i wake up i usually have like two hours or something having a slow morning and then working out but it was actually a really good habit i think hitting the gym like right when i wake up because then first of all i have no time to kind of talk myself out of it <laughs> and also it just felt really good having that already done at like 9 a.m i also picked up a book today for the first time in like so long i said that i wanted to read more books this year but i really feel like it's not gonna happen unless i actually have a said like time for reading my books so i decided after i work out i'm gonna read a book for 30 minutes every morning and now i'm just sitting here in the car because my boyfriend's sleeping and i just feel like i'm waking him up every time i walk into the bedroom so i decided to just go out here and film also i just had a butternut pumpkin soup that just like gave me a lot of fall vibes it was really good Hey guys, so today is Thursday. I've just been spending my morning reading my book. The book I'm reading is How to Win Friends and Influence People. It's kind of about how you can create new like good habits and just like improve yourself. I would definitely recommend so far. I've only gotten to the third chapter, but I just put down on my to-do list that I want to finish this book today. That's going to be like a record for me because I never ever finish a book in like one or two days. I'll be like really motivated to read, but then I just lose it and it takes me weeks to finish my book. So I'm going to hold myself accountable by telling you this, but I also just created a new to-do list kind of like for september in notion so i used a really really cute template i think it looks really aesthetic so first to the left it has like navigation so calendar if we click on it it will show like a monthly overview we have a uni like school folder my content plan so like video ideas and a meal plan but then it has this really good like to-do list for my weeks it has a week plan my goals for today are to finish my book finish this vlog and upload it and also do some self-work and study i really need to study and then what's also really good is so you can plan your day like more in detail so you have like every hour of your day well it actually starts at seven i should probably well I don't wake up before 7 anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was just start at 5 a.m. Because I'm never going to wake up at 5 a.m. anyways. So I really like that. So maybe you will find some inspiration from it. But what I thought I would do right now is update my iPhone to iOS 16, which just came out like a few days ago. I actually haven't updated yet. So I think while I read my book, I'm just going to have this updating. Oh, so we have like the option to either upgrade to iOS 15.7 or iOS 16. So we're gonna do iOS 16. Okay, so it's downloading. Let me know in the comments if you upgraded to iOS 16 and if you like it. All right, I think this is gonna take a while. So I'll just get back to you once it's updated. 
okay it's been like just 15 minutes that was super fast i just heard my phone like buzzing i turned around and it was like not the same phone so i just like took a tiny sneak peek at it for like a millisecond so i thought i'd film my reaction to i was 16 what? That does not feel like an iPhone. It kind of reminds me of the clock of an Android. And also my wallpaper is darker than it usually is. Oh, so in your wallpaper settings, you can add widgets under the time. Okay, so you can add like either, I guess, four small widgets or two big ones. Oh, so you do like a wallpaper pair. That is so cute. You can do like a whole theme. Okay, let's see what that looks like. It also changed my home screen wallpaper. Ooh, that is so cute. You can do like a gradient. Oh, so it's like gradient. That's super cute. That is really cool. And if you press one or two widgets on your lock screen, like it will go right into that app. Something else that's also new is you have a little search bar at the bottom of your home screen i guess you can search for contacts and apps that is also a really cool feature i feel like that's gonna save a lot of time Ooh, okay i just have to show you this as well so if you choose a picture with a person in it like a portrait photo it's gonna put the person like over the text which gives this like a really cool effect i'm not gonna have myself as a wallpaper don't worry but just like as an example so something else you can do is change the font of your text on your lock screen so you can do you have a bunch of fonts you will be able to really customize your iphone and make it like really aesthetic <laughs> and you can also change the color i am really impressed all right, I feel like I need to make another like how to make your iPhone aesthetic, but with iOS 16, cause you'll be able to do so much with this. And also you can customize where it says Thursday, September 15. Next up here, you can customize that. So you can do like how hot it is outside or the time. And if you swipe, you can do like different Themes. So you have black and white, juaton, I don't know what that is, and color wash. So you can like change the elements. So you can move around the elements on your wallpaper. That is really, really cool. <laughs> move this like up here. Okay, another iOS 16 feature I've just heard a lot about that I want to try out and see if it actually works is that you need Face ID for accessing your recently deleted photos. So when I scroll down, it actually seems like the hidden and recently deleted has like a little lock thingy. That is really good. I mean, more privacy, I guess. Guys, look at this. In my hidden, I put all my pictures of the iPhone 13 Pro Max, what I got it for my boyfriend as a surprise. And I don't want to accidentally show him my camera roll and he would like see the iPhone before I gave it to him. Okay, another feature I want to try out is that you can lift out an object from one of your photos. So if we take like a photo, just a photo of me, you're supposed to be able to like hold it. Oh, it actually, what? It actually works. <laughs> if we copy it, if we create a new note and then paste, what? It paste the object onto, onto notes. Okay, and another cool feature is if you go into battery in your settings and press battery percentage, it will show the percentage up in the corner of the battery logo. That is actually really, really good because oftentimes I feel like it's hard to just tell from the battery logo how much battery you actually have. So I love that it actually has a number now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think I gotta go like feed her or something. Just like give her attention because she is going a little crazy. But I will definitely make a video of iOS 16 features and wallpaper ideas. So yeah, definitely comment if you want that. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Hello? <laughs>